Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is a new game I just found that released July 25th of this year. It is called Racing Kings. I found this completely by accident while just like browsing Google Play Store um, and then for some odd reason it wouldn't install on my phone so I had to go elsewhere. Um, but I really like this game so far so I wanted to show it to you guys and see what you guys think so this is in beta stages unlike auto legends that's in alpha stages so keep that in mind as things are a little bit further ahead on this than they are on auto legends but both games are technically in development so i'm going to let you see you know early access as you can tell there is a really nice story mode that's actually really cool so I'm going to mute myself once that story mode starts and I'll let you guys listen in hopefully and go from there. So I like the story mode. It's a little cringe, but like whatever, who cares? It's cool. So overall, it's a drag racing game. It is. There are licensed cars, but I'm going to shut up. And of course, it's not going to capture the audio of it. Oh, God. Okay. Well, we're going to just sit here and watch it then instead. Uh, it, it's got voice acting and everything, which I think is actually kind of cool. Um, overall, it's not that bad. I mean, it's, it's definitely an Android game. <laughs> it's a mobile game. But the story of it, this intro, a little bit cringy of a story there still interesting and fun to see that developers are putting this much effort into a game for sure though especially even on mobile that they're starting to get to the point of like console quality i think is the best way for me to say it because that's not something i expect if i'm downloading a mobile game especially a game i've never heard of from a development company i've never heard of so the whole goal just to fill you in because I joined their Discord and talked to them a little bit, is to have like an entire universe that they are creating. So the universe is going to have Racing Kingdom. It's going to have Dirt Kingdom, which I guess is going to be off-road stuff. There's a couple other ones as well. But right now, this is the first game in the franchise. Right now, you're going to notice it's very similar, I like to say, to Racing Rivals because you have to drop launch. But the other the thing here is you do have to um, shift in the green area and you have to hold the gas pedal, which interesting. There's been many times that I've missed the gas pedal on this and just kind of lost the race simply because I forgot to put my finger back down because it's like you let off to drop launch and then you have to put your finger back down and it's just a habit you kind of have to create. But right now, I forget what this point is. I think it's like pick your first car. Oh, no, this is when he's, this is some other cringy part. I don't want to skip the story modes because I want to give you guys the entire uh, background here. I know the visual of racing is a little bit blurry. I'm sorry about that. There's not much I can do. This game only works on Android 13 or newer. And the only way for me to capture anything Android 13 or newer is to use my phone and then basically screen record my phone. And with that comes some blurry visuals because you can only get so much data passed over USB at a given moment. So anything that's quick changing, you're going to just have to deal with blurriness. I'm sorry. I guess I could technically record the gameplay directly on phone and then voiceover. I didn't think of that until now, but that's, you know, I, I, I don't roll that way, I guess. <laughs> I don't roll that way. <laughs> we know this. So, overall, cool intro. I like that it's animated. I like that there's a storyline to this. The game, overall, you'll see it once we're actually into it, does have um, multiplayer, will be eventually added. 
they are going to add what looks like turf wars and clan wars, which some of you Racing Rivals fans are going to be excited for. There's a couple other things you'll notice that they'll add. There's a puppy. I'll get to what the pets are. Don't worry about Oh! It loaded my account, despite the fact that I reset my phone? Weird. There's no way for me to start a new account, so to speak. And I can't even change the username. So, yeah, it, uh, interesting. It saved my account regardless of the fact that I wiped the app data. So I guess if I want to show you a true start from the beginning, I'd have to use a different phone. But anyway, let's uh, let's give this a shot. I'll show you guys around. So obviously there's new car, which they have it set up. And what I would say is a very CSR2-like system with Tier 1 through Tier 5. There are a couple brands. As you can see, there's Audi and Chevy, which are real-world brands. So they are going for licensed cars. RMG, I believe, is a fake brand, which I'm okay with fake cars in a game. I don't care. The best games don't have to have licensed cars. If you do have licensed cars, it's a cool bonus, but I'm not going to be mad if you don't have them. Also, as you can see, so that thing is sick. I don't care who you are. Some of these fake cars are absolutely insane looking. Uh, let's see, S is like Volkswagen. That's what I started with was the golf-looking thing because golf-looking thing. I love my Volkswagen Golf, so I don't care. But you do have fuel. You do have a leveling system. So you do only get, I think this is 10 or 11 races before you run out of fuel. It resets at like one block every three minutes, three and a half minutes or something like that. So it is pretty quick. But I still think that just having this system in 2024 is a real bummer. Uh, as you can see, there is customization. So you can do a wide body, which is freaking awesome. Um, I hope they add the ability to paint your car eventually. Paint it different colors instead of having to deal with whatever the wide body puts on it. I find it really funny. You know, little glitches are going to happen. But you can actually tune your nitrous, even though I don't have it you know, set up or a high enough stage to tune it. So I can tune it though, but there is tire pressuring. Uh, so you can control, you know, like, Oh, I want this amount of grip and this amount of acceleration. Now I don't know if it's, you know, you have zero grip. I'm assuming that's going to hurt you. I don't know if like every car is different. I just like to set it to like 60, 40, and then transmission, they do have gear ratio tuning, but it's very iffy from what I can tell. So I'm going to just set it to like, I'm going to make everybody angry and make it 421. Deal with it. So it's going to save my tune. You can see the upgrade system is very CSR as well. Because there's like intake, tire, transmission, boost, nitro, body, exhaust, and ECU. And then there's their, uh, these sub-stages. So you can go in here and you can kind of get these different sub-staged parts installed to it to gain a little bit more power. So it's not going to be maxed out. But I really hope that they come out with a PC version. They said on the Discord that they are wanting to have a PC version of the game. So I think that'll be really cool eventually. But... As of right now, it's just on mobile. And yes, you get pets. Look at my little puppo. I can make him bark. I really want to make the sound for this video work. Hold on. It should work. I don't know why it's not working. Hold up. Why are you not working? I'm, like, I'm going to pause and get the audio to work. So unfortunately, it doesn't do audio transfer over USB with the screen recording software I'm using, I don't think. Um, that sucks. Let me find out something else. Yep, there's no way for me to get audio over USB, but that's okay. You can put the puppo in your car. It's so adorable. He hops in. 
turns himself around. He'll hang out the window. Oh my God. It's adorable. Um, so anyway, let's go to the race menu and yes, there's a new event system, which is sick. So that's right here. They just added this. There's money bank, the Audi cup and daily battle. There's the drag league, which eventually it looks like they're going to have some crazy cars for drag for drag league. Turf wars, like I was saying, race against other players, capture their territories, collect resources, and build your own kingdom. There's going to be multiplayer. I don't know if they're going to have pink slip racing. I don't know if the game even supports it. Maybe that's something I can ask the developers. Uh, ranked, going to be exactly what it sounds like, just a bunch of ranked racing for going up a leaderboard. And clan wars, so you versus another team. Very Nitto 1320-like. So anyway... Let's go in and do a race real quick. Okay, how am I going to do this on a PC? Because this is not your... Oh, yeah. Pick up the phone, stupid. <laughs> I'm so special sometimes. As you can see, it does download maps. There are multiple racetracks, which is sweet. I'm going to go in and... No, I'm so... I can't believe that I just made that mistake. That... This is just screen recording. I don't... Okay. Anyway, I'm going to drop launch my car like I said I do. Two, one. And we got the perfect start. And now I have nitrous as well, which is sweet. Makes me a little bit faster. This car is not obviously as fast as that Mustang. You can make your dog bark out the window. And I don't know if it like messes up the opponent if they're close. If you make your dog bark or something, I feel like that'd be pretty cool. But... Yeah, so you get three flags, which I don't know what that's for. You get a prize, you get launch bonus, shift bonus. Go to the garage, and the race is done. So let's see what the event... Oh, this is just daily reward. Pretty cool. Got myself 25k, which is nice. 25k goes a long way in this game, and I'm guessing they're a little bit inflated because it's early access. Intake. Uh, let's see, let's upgrade a couple things here. Definitely going to do nitrous. Um, I feel like car weight is always important. Get that weight down as low as you can. ECU, I definitely want to upgrade. That's plus 10 power, which is great. I'm going to just upgrade this probably as far as I can. Just get it done, you know. How far is it going to let me go? I don't know. I don't know why it's also lagging right now. Maybe the servers aren't the best yet. Might have to close the app and restart. All right, we back. I'm going to upgrade this a little bit further. Um, Nitro is definitely important, but I don't think it's as important as gaining power overall. 32, 18, because this is only stage one. That's awesome. Let's throw that on here. That unlocks some stuff. Whoa, that's a crazy looking turbine. What in the heck is that? I don't like that it's kind of blocked by the button. I feel like they should move it over just a smidge. Just like it's a visual thing. I know it's me being picky over visuals. 32, 9. We'll do this. Plus 32 is huge. Where's tires? I should definitely do tires. I didn't even think about that. All right, let's go. Oh, I got new tuning options. That's awesome. We're going to leave that there. Why is it acting like I have new tuning options? I don't. Never mind. We're going to go race. I'm going to do shadow match, I guess. We'll do amateur, which is sick. I like that there's multiple difficulties as well for just random daily racers. Give me one sec. All right. Let's see here. Sorry, I got a phone call. Um... That was a terrible excuse. I didn't get a phone call. Uh, whatever. This is what I mean, though. I keep forgetting to put my finger down, and I don't know. There's no point in me holding this throttle button. There really isn't. Ooh, I like that camera view. When you're in a close race, that was nice. But I don't like holding down the gas pedal. I don't know. It, it feels unneeded and just a way to kind of accidentally lose. Is all it feels like. Look at that quad time. 14766. You are a Nitto fan. You know what I'm talking about. Alright, we're going to go race. 
And I want to do one of the event races. Let's see what the daily battle is. Map being downloaded. Sick. Sick. Let's see what this is. Oh, I think daily battles, you just get to race whatever it throws at you. I don't like that those time boards are one, two, three, four. Feels a tad silly. Like, make it a little more realistic, I guess. All right, let's see. This is going to drop. I feel like now. Cool. All right, cool. I remember to press the gas button to hold it. The other thing with this game is it really heats up my phone, like really badly. Um, the phone in my left hand is very hot. This is definitely killing my battery. Oh, well, I'm charging right now. It doesn't matter. All right, let's go. I think you can only do one daily battle race every like hour or so. So you kind of have to pay attention. So yeah, two every two hours. Where did the game go? Oh, my screen recording died. I have no idea how long the screen was black. Um, sorry about that. You know me though. I'm not going to edit this. Uh <laughs> just what I do. So yeah, every 2 hours you can do a daily battle. I bet it was because I pulled my notification bar. Uh, ooh, money bank. Cash in on a money bank event race. In the money bank event. Okay. Let's just race it. Why not? Get to the race. Three, two, one. Didn't forget the throttle. I often forget to put my finger back down for the throttle. I think I've done it twice in this video, to be honest with you. It's, I don't know, the throttle button feels unneeded. It just feels like a way for me to accidentally lose a race because it's not something, like, yes, it's something that's in my control, 100%. But it's not worth it. The Audi Cup. Do I have to have an Audi to enter? No, I don't. I wonder if this counts as an... Oh, I get to use one. That's sick. Cool. It drops a lot faster than it throttles up, so that was really confusing. But I am going to win this, which is sick. I just... I really like how the racing feels on this game. It feels so good. It really does. I like this game a lot. This is something I will definitely leave installed on my phone. Go back to events. It's weird to like control with, oh, I can only do one race every two and a half hours or two hours. That's a little bit silly. Do you want people to play in your event or not? Do you want people to play your game or not? Don't have timers that are that crazy. Like, yeah, I could understand, oh, I need to wait until my car cools off. Here's a 10 minute timer until I can race again. Timers for installing parts even make sense a little bit. You don't immediately just instantly have new tires on your car. You don't instantly have new pistons in your engine. Install par installing parts makes sense. But event timers and stuff like that, like I can understand even having scheduled events. That's awesome. But having it set up where I can only do the race every two hours. So I have to remember to open the game back up in two hours just to come back and do one more race. And then I'm going to have to wait two more hours. This is silly. This is silly. It's your daily battle. You don't need to make it this many races. It's a daily battle. Like, if it's every two hours, this means it's going to take me at minimum 80 hours to get to this 40th race. At minimum, if I remember to open this app every two hours, it's 80 hours for me to get to this race. That's silly. And then I bet you, okay, there's a bunch of cars here, but it's five per car. So that's, you know, two or three days. It's just silly. Don't do that to your community. Do you want people to stay on your game or not? It doesn't make sense. The story mode is really cool. I've been enjoying it. This is a temporary draft video. Um, 
I did already obviously race some of the campaign race, which is okay. You know, whatever. But, so this is just like the next step in the story. The story is cool. I like the idea behind it. I just don't know. You know, how much effort do you need to put into it? I think you are catering to a very small audience of Let's Players that barely exist anymore that are going to sit here and let every story video play out to their community during a live stream or something like that. It's going to happen once or twice, and then people are going to start racing their normal races again. Let's go race this noob and just see what happens. Shift in the green. Not always the best place to shift. That's the other thing I don't really like with games. is like it feels scripted if you want me to shift at a specific point. Like, if my car is faster shifting outside this green spot like it is in Auto Legends, I'm going to shift outside the green spot. But here, I don't really know if that's true. Walgreens, I doubt they're allowed to actually have that logo in here. I'm going to be honest. But <laughs> there's... I really wish I could free cam around because I, I know the game is Unity 3D, but it's not a mobile game. Or it, it is a mobile game, so I can't do that yet. But I defeated number two guy. So I'm going to go do a couple more upgrades to the car. I need level three if I want to tune boost. I'm definitely going to need tires. I want to get these to level three. I think that's a good idea. And nitrous at level two is a good idea to have. It still doesn't unlock tuning for it, even though I can technically tune for it. The tire pressure stuff, I'm going to go 35, 65. That's fine. And then transmission stuff. It feels like my car is just going to be faster if I crank this to the max. It doesn't matter. Nitrous tuning unlocked. That's awesome. And we'll do like one more race to end off the video. So let's see. Let's go back to the money banks. Let's see. Ooh, new map. Sick. And their uh, map areas are actually really small, which is really nice. So these downloads don't take that long, which, awesome. I know a lot of games that try to do this. Their map downloads take five ever. Um, I don't know why there's a railroad crossing right there. That doesn't really make any sense. That's why. Got it. Because there's a train. There we go. I just don't want to waste... Like, the other thing, too, is when you have a forced minimum number of race or maximum number of races somebody can do, there's also no time for innovation. There's no practice track here for me to go that doesn't cost fuel for me to figure out, oh, shifting it like that is faster. Like, it... I can't stand the timers, and I can't stand limited fuel. Yes, it loads back in very quickly, but it doesn't matter. I don't, you don't need the timers for events. You can schedule events. That makes sense. But you don't need two hours before you can do the next event race. That's so silly. You don't need two hours to do the next daily challenge. That's beyond silly. I don't get it. I really don't. There was a really loud motorcycle going by, and I didn't want the video recording to pick it up. But, yeah, I, in the end, the timers don't make sense to me. I don't like that in games, and that's what turns me away from a game. is timers, limited racing functionality, boost like Racing Rivals had, and just overall, like, do you want to keep me in your game or not? Do you want me to get borderline addicted to your game and play it for hours on end or not because we don't know you know there's this limited fuel right here is that going to affect us in drag league is that going to affect us in turf wars is that going to affect us on multiplayer are we going to have to use fuel here here and here 10 races is going to go by so quickly with 10 or 11 notches for fuel same with ranked and clan wars like is it going to cost fuel to do all of this stuff Get rid of the fuel system. Get rid of it or have it refill much faster. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. 
and I don't think there's not even a way to refill because it's only plus four. Like, yeah, plus no, I need five notches. Why is it only plus four here? And then you only get plus one for watching an ad. Get rid of the fuel system, please. This is one thing that turns me off from a racing game and will probably turn a lot of people away from it on top of these silly timers. These timers, please make them much, much shorter, especially because it's early access. You want people on your game finding the bugs, finding the issues, finding the exploits. You don't want to turn people away. So anyway, I think that's enough ranting on that subject. I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe I'll make a whole video on timers and stuff like that because it is something that I think the gaming industry, just somebody needs to speak up about it. But I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.